Hello, welcome to this Android 2 podcast. My name is Cyril Langer, I'm a field application engineer. I will show you in this uh, video a presentation about the MS2090 Spectrum Analyzer being used with a, a Neon TRX device that enables indoor and outdoor measurement coverage. The advantage of using the MS2090 in that case is that it sweeps very, very quickly. This allows the user to use the MS2090 a as a channel scanner, which will enable him to make RF measurement coverage on various uh, channels. All these channels will be recorded by an application and then could be replayed in the computer. How does this system work? This is quite simple. The Neon device is a tracking unit that is being connected via Bluetooth to an Android device, like smartphone or tablet and it's being held onto the belt of the uh, technician that will be making the indoor or outdoor measurement coverage. For this video purpose, the setup is quite simple. You need to have the MS2090 spectrum analyzer, the neon tracking device, the Android tablet, and an omni antenna. As we are using an Android device, it's pretty easy to use it as an Wi-Fi hotspot to share the Wi-Fi link with the MS2090A spectrum analyzer. On this slide, you can see that we are getting the IPv4 address of the 2090A that will be used to be connected with the hotspot. If we now focus onto the Neon Signal Mapper application in the Android device, we can use it and set it up to match with the Enritsu um, spectrum analyzer. By selecting the Enritsu choice in the uh, display filter, this will enable uh, spectrum measurements like channel power to be done. For the purpose of this uh, video podcast, we'll be making fast channel measurements like using the 2090A as a channel scanner scanning seven different channels in the 2110 MHz band. Here is a representation of the seven channels to be measured one after the other in a kind of an endless loop. The Neon Signal Mapper application in the Android device will be controlling the MS2090A making the sweep between each channel. As shown here, we can see the uh, changing powers of the different channels in the 2110 MHz band using the MS2090A spectrum analyzer. As soon as the 2090A spectrum analyzer will be configured by the Neon Signal Mapper application, we can see that by now channels are being swept one after the other very quickly. The channel power of every channel is being computed and reported into the signal mapper in the Android device. Once the measurement session will have been done, here is what you can get on the Android device with different dots and colors linked to the amplitude of uh, every channel power that has been measured during the session. All these measurements can be uploaded to the cloud and then downloaded to the laptop into the other application, which we'll be now focusing on. Here we see the outline of a building with an indoor map. Um, this has been uh, designed with the uh, Neon Command software. The map can be seen in two dimension or three dimension. By replaying the data, all measurements can be seen on the map with different colors and dots. The Neon Common software allows to easily move the map in any kind of direction. One of the advantages of the Neon tracking device is that because of all the sensors it has inside, it can perform measurements and telling the unit that we are going uh, in the stairs, going upstairs, going downstairs. So that's, this is what we can see on the map actually. Measurements can be seen floor by floor as shown here. The Neon Tracking device can be used both indoor and outdoor for RF measurement coverage. 
As we see here, measurements are outdoor are still being measured and reported into the uh, signal mapper in the Android device. Here, a car has been used, and then the GPS of the Android device is being used to know about the exact position, location of the um, user. All measurement dots can be seen on the map as the car is moving. In addition to the measurement dots, it's also possible to display the heat map of the indoor and outdoor measurements. The more red color it goes, the higher amplitude it means, and the more blue it goes, the lower amplitude it means. The signal mapper software also allows the user to display the map in three dimensions using as well the relief of the map. If the user decides to put the mouse on one of the dots, it would see the amplitude power of every dot. In addition to the channel power dots and all amplitude power that have been recorded, it's also possible to have a look at the Wi-Fi network, since the Android device was also using Wi-Fi at the same time. It has no relationship with the MS2090, but just the Android device recording Wi-Fi measurements. The network information being recorded by the Android device can also be seen on the screen as the SSID or channel power of each Wi-Fi channel. The signal mapper software can also estimate the position of the hotspots. Here as well, it's possible to choose one of the dots and have a look at what the Android device has detected in terms of LT network. This concludes this presentation with the MS2090 Spectrum Analyzer being used with the uh, Neon Tracking device. As seen here, when you associate the uh, MS2090 fast sweeping Spectrum Analyzer with the Neon Tracking device, you can recall a lot of measurements on the field, which whatever it is, indoor or outdoor measurement, to get RF measurement coverage. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this presentation.